have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, no, no. I want you to put yourself in a man's shoes. Pretend you're a man being falsely accused of something you didn't do. That's exactly what happened when Rhoda Oseman or Osman. That's exactly what happened when this black Somalian woman falsely accused black men of harming her. Now, the chickens have come home to roost. This woman's going to jail, and I hope they lock her up and throw away the king. Stay tuned. <laughs>
And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these niggas is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face. And then they all just watch. And they let that nigga get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? I just wanted to see if there was an update because, um, you know, she's doing all these things on social media and victims don't move like that. But um, mm -hmm. I want to proceed with my fraud case because I she's out here spending money still on these fancy places and she's laughing in our face. And she even told me you can't do shit about my GoFundMe money because I was actually assaulted and I'm going to use some of it to sue you and all this other type of crap. I don't care about that, but um, I just wanted to make sure that I'm on the right path with my fraud case. Yes. Bitch. And see, what it's important to realize is that you can't always believe everybody when they say something. You have to look at the facts. You have to look at the articles. You have to look at what is really being presented into your face. You have to really believe what is presented to you instead of just going over what somebody says. Assalamu alaikum. Rhoda here to remind you that every time you lie to somebody, you're taking away their choice. You're taking away the ability for them to make a decision that's good for themselves. And that's why I always lie to the people of the global minority and men. <laughs> If you're hit in the face with a brick, how are you able to talk? How are you able to move? How are you able to really make videos? If you were hit in the face with a brick, wouldn't you know the make, model, or color of the car? Wouldn't you be able to recite what that man was wearing? What he looked like? And your lies have now caught up to you. And this is what happens when you trust blindly. This woman scammed people out of 40K, $40,000, 40,000 plus. This woman has scammed people over. And guess what? I believe that you shouldn't get that money back. If you were ignorant enough to donate, you should be ignorant enough to realize that you just lost your money. <laughs> but yes, black men, we are owed an apology. Men, we are owed an apology by the sisterhood, by women of all nationalities that came out in defense of this ignorant black Somalian. Why should you apologize? Because it's the right thing to do. And see, now the world is holding you accountable, ladies. You can't hide behind the brick lady anymore and say, all oh, men till there's no man. Those days are over. Now, you have to be accountable and apologize for what you did to black men, to men in general, thinking we're all bad, we're all evil based on the lie of one woman. You see, we live in a society where it's easy to trust a liar, but it's not easy to believe the truth. And the truth will set you free. The truth comes out on top each and every time. But we also live in a society where women believe a lie versus the truth. They will live a lie instead of believing the truth. So before you get on your high horse and accuse a man and lump all men into the same category and then justify it by saying things like, well, men have been doing it to women for years. Men have been doing this. Men have been doing that. 
men aren't doing anything. Stop it. Get some help. Now, the roles have been reversed. Now, the sisterhood has to apologize. Now, people are understanding that this woman was a fraud. And rightfully so. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video. Hit that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. Do not forget next week on Wednesday, I will be going live and it will be a call-in show. So bring your A-game. Come on over. And until the next video, peace.